Most of the things we encounter in our world that are dangerous, poisonous, or venomous are pretty obvious. Others, not so much. Here are a few creatures that don't come with warning labels. The hooded pitahui is a small bird, about the size of a blue jay, but it packs an unexpected wallop. It lives in the trees of New Guinea, and its feathers and skin contain a neurotoxin known as batractotoxin. If the bird is touched, the toxin causes numbness and tingling. It's thought that the pitahui doesn't produce the neurotoxin itself, but that's a reaction from eating coracine beetles, a major part of the bird's diet. The natives of New Guinea have long known about the poisonous birds, but Western scientists didn't catch on until the late 1980s. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, we're here to tell you about venomous cone snails. While the cones themselves are beautiful, the tiny harpoon wielded by the snail inside can cause anything from a small sting to paralysis and even death in humans. There are over 800 species of cone snails, all of which are carnivorous. Scientists are studying the possibility of using extracts from the venom of cone snails to treat epilepsy, Alzheimer's, nerve damage, and more. The slow loris is cute and wide-eyed and raises its hands over its head when it feels threatened. However, this isn't always purely a defensive gesture. The loris might be getting ready to lick the brachial gland near its elbow, which secretes a toxin that mixes with the loris' saliva. Bites from a loris can cause painful swelling and, although rare, anaphylactic shock. Female slow lorises often groom their young with this toxin as a way of keeping away any predators. If you've gotten past your wariness about cone snails, it's time to get nervous around coral. Palithoa coral usually looks like brownish polyps surrounded by tentacles, although many color variations exist. The coral produces palatoxin, which can cause trouble breathing and flu-like symptoms if the coral is touched. An old Hawaiian legend warned against going near what they called the seaweed of death from Hana, since the coral grew near Hana Harbor. The duck-billed platypus is among the oddest of odd mammals. When Europeans first heard of the Australian animals, they thought it was a hoax by a taxidermist. But the platypus is indeed a real creature, which has webbed feet, lays eggs, and wields ankle spurs. In the males, the spurs produce venom. The poison can kill small animals and cause intense pain in humans, which can then develop into a long-lasting hypersensitivity to pain. The moral here is that it's best not to harass a platypus or ask about its strange physiology, a message that applies to all the animals on this list.